Welcome to the third lesson of MATLAB, uh, learning MATLAB here. And uh, today we're just going to um, actually make a pro the equivalent of a program in MATLAB. I've said it uh, previously in that and in class that um, there are ways to do really hardcore programming in MATLAB, but the general um, the general form of how to get MATLAB to do things in the way that we would normally program is called a script. So how to write a script is really um, uh, what we're going to do today. What I did was I created a new folder called MATLAB code, just like I have a folder called C code, and we're going to use put um, all of our MATLAB scripts in there. And um, I'm not going to do it uh, for this particular lesson, but normally you would make a, a folder for each lesson and put the script in the lesson and the data files, just like you would did with C. That's just good organizational advice. So I'm going to start MATLAB. Takes a little while. I'm going to, okay. And um, let's um, uh, let's go ahead and um, um, just do the same thing that I've done. I want to print out a bunch of different um, uh, sine waves, right? So I'll go t equals zero by pi over eight colon two times pi parentheses prime semicolon to suppress the output w equals sine of t x equals sine of t plus pi over 8 y equals sine of t plus pi over 4, v equals sine of t plus 3 times pi over 8, plot t e w t x t y t z. Nice. Okay. So, um, um, so I made this pretty little, um, um, a pretty little graph here. And what if I just wanted to turn that into a computer program? Um, the way to do that is to write a script. Well, why do they call it a script? They call it a script because basically it's like an actor reading a script. So you're just giving the commands that you would normally run in this environment window to MATLAB directly. So it's just a way to turn um, me typing these commands in into an actual uh, program that I can just run the one, I can just call one program name and it would run all these commands. That's the, that's why they call it a script. Okay, so let's make a script. You go edit. Oh, oh first off, first off, I what I did was I went in here and you, you want to change this to your directory to be your MATLAB code directory. So just use this tool up here to go ahead and navigate through that. You know, you just go through um, browse, uh, uh, this is um, browse for folder here and find it. That's the way I like to do it. Okay, so if you want to make a script, you can say edit script1.m. Now there's a way to do this in here too, but um, uh, like new script, right? But um, uh, I do it from the command line. It asks you, um, it doesn't exist, do you want to create it? Yes. So now the command window is down here and the script is here. It depends on your environment. Sometimes the editor will be um, uh, will not be connected to this environment. It'll just be off somewhere else. You can do it that way. You can you can pull it out if you want. But for now, this is the way mine is set up. Here's how I start all scripts. I do close. I do clear and clear all. We just did clear before. So when you do clear, you know that clears all the variables in this thing. Clear all clears all the variables plus um, some other types of variables that might exist. So that's just um, things like global variables that you declare. And then close all. This is all figures that might be up. You can open more than one figure. Then all you got to do to make this turn this thing into a script is to go here. Yoink. Oops. Uh, 
um, copy, oops, copy control C, paste. It, you notice it took the, it, you didn't even have to, uh, you didn't have to take the little double arrows out. It just did it for you. So I just recorded those commands into a file, script one, and then I save it. Or uh, control control S saves it, right? So then I don't need it anymore, right? <clears throat> and, but now you can see script one dot M, and if I go into MATLAB code here, you can see script one dot M, and you can open it with Notepad or Notepad plus plus, and you can just see that it's um, it's just a text file with those commands um, printed out in them. So then I'm going to clear all this up. So now it looks like nothing's happening. And if I want to run it all again, instead of typing all those commands out, I just type out script one, not dot M, just plain old script one without the dot M suffix. Boom, it comes up. Neat. No compiling needing needed, no nothing. It's just a script that lists the MATLAB commands that's in there. Because there's this MATLAB environment where C, there is no real environment. The operating system is the environment. You have to compile and link and turn it into a, a, a program that's executable um, from any operating system here. In order to run this script, I need MATLAB installed in my machine. Whereas if you write a C program, the C program and, and compile it, it can run on any machine, whether or not dev C is on there or not. So that's a big difference here. You have to have the environment and run a script, but boy, is it easy to write a script, yeah? That's it. And so next time we're gonna use it, we're gonna write another script to actually do something. And eventually we're gonna write our own function. That's the next few lectures. That's it.